Crypto Wallets Explained Part 5 Welcome to you, my fellow crypto enthusiasts. So by now, you know everything about hot and cold wallets and public and private keys. If not, please check my previous videos. Today's topic is custodial versus non-custodial crypto wallets. The primary difference between these options comes down to security over convenience and who is responsible for securing a wallet's private keys. I hope you will like this video. Do not forget to click the like and subscribe button. With a custodial wallet, a third party like a crypto exchange holds a user's private keys, using them to sign initiated transactions on the owner's behalf. Custodial wallets are good for users who don't want to fuss too much with security, and who aren't overly concerned with trusting a third party to their private keys. Because of risks like hacks, or even an exchange going bankrupt, which has happened before, it's generally not advised to keep large amounts of cryptocurrency in a custodial wallet. For more advanced crypto users, or those who want to be in complete control over their private keys, non-custodial wallets are often preferred. With a non-custodial wallet, the holder is solely responsible for keeping their private key safe. Non-custodial wallets don't require a user to trust a third party for account security, but it does require a substantial amount of self-trust. Remember, if a private key is lost or compromised, a user's funds can be drained or otherwise rendered irretrievable. Thank you for watching, this video is part of a larger series of videos, if you are interested in crypto, please click the like and subscribe button to stay connected and informed. Have a nice day until next time.